Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mint flips, where I'm a full-time eBay reseller and every 100 subscribers is a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. I've got 25 orders going out today. It was a really solid sales weekend. That's a lot of sales. Nothing extravagant, but nothing I'm complaining about either. 25 sales over the weekend. That's amazing. Today is Halloween. So that will give you a view into how delayed my videos actually come out. And I discussed, I didn't know what I was going to do if I was going to have to start putting out more videos. But if I, I've tried that before, when I put out more videos, I get less views because, you know, people only have so many hours in the day and I don't want to, I don't want to do that, but I will be taking a break over the Thanksgiving Christmas area, uh, multiple times. So that'll all even itself out at that point. And I assume at some point, Jen or I will get sick. That's just, it's winter time happens. Kids are in school. They're just germ bags. <laughs> but I'm behind the clock a little bit because I have a Halloween parade to go to for Michael. I don't think Cadence has one. I think they stopped doing it at a certain grade. We're a little unsure on that. I actually hope not because if, if they both have a parade, that means I have to watch the third grade parade, then the fourth, fifth parade just to wait around for the sixth grade parade. That's a lot of time in my day. But if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. Michael and I actually, we went out to a movie last night. Um, we went and saw Lyle Lyle Crocodile, very cute family movie. If you, it's a very popular children's book. You probably most of you know it. It's it's a good family movie. I I enjoyed it. But Michael, uh, my boy, he's he's just the goodest boy. He he pulled the trash the other day. No one asked him to. It was just full and he, and it needed to be done. So he just did it. It's not his chore. He blows my mind every day. He's just the best. So I treated him to a movie to, you know, reinforce. You're a, you're a good boy. There's no other reason for this. The fact that you are a good boy and I appreciate it. Let's get to pulling stuff. Actually, let me know what you dressed up for as Halloween. I will be going as Black Panther for the second time because I forget to get stuff for a costume until the last minute. And I have a Black Panther costume. So... Black Panther it is. Uh, next thing, uh, first thing going out, B3A is a Schaefer pen or pencil. Uh, it's going to be in here, of course. Now let me get over here so I can see which one it is. It's a pen, a Schaefer fountain pen, brown with gold trim. And it does have a white top. Brown, gold trim, white top this one right here that is gorgeous in great condition that pen right there i got this might be the best one of the day actually 58.49 free shipping that would be uh 10 percent off pens i'm i'm in love with them uh, there's no guarantees that i will find more i could have just been on a run where i just found a bunch of pens i don't know i'm actively searching for them though the deal i talked about a few videos ago that fell through so i think what happened is enough people like me reached out where the person realized oh i have something better than i thought i had i think that's what happened because they did not put the listing back up they did not reach back out uh reach reach out to me so that's my assumption. Next thing going out, B5 uh, is a vintage Green Bay Packers hat. B1, 2, 3, no, B1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, yes, it is up here. I thought I'd moved all the hats, but these ones are still here, and I'm happy. Let me move this before I rub a hat all over some rusty metal. All right, here we go. I am more than happy to get this out of my garage. The uh, Packers played the Buffalo Bills last night. Because I'm a Lions fan, I don't get to enjoy football, you know, for winning. So I get to enjoy football watching Aaron Rodgers get the snot beat out of him. And I don't mean score-wise, because they figured it out in the second half and kind of made it a close game. Well, close enough. But he, he got sacked like four times. It was awesome. $27.99 free shipping for that hat right there. And I'm glad it sold before the game, because now that the, the Packers are done. Their, their season's over. Nobody's buying any Packers hats at this point. Uh, next up, it's a book. It's actually three of them three donna parker books i had this one listed for a while then i ran into two more in my back stock of books 
So I redid the listing, increased the price, added the other two books, and I got $15 free shipping. I assume that's an offer. Actually, I know that's an offer, but I will take that for sure. Next up, B2 is a vintage poker chip rotating carousel. And I had mentioned recently that the stuff in the back side of this shelf after the first of the year is getting significantly discounted because it's been listed for long enough. And a lot of them are this size item where they're not huge, but unless they're worth a decent amount of money, the space is costing me money. And so that's why I gave a really good deal on that one, $9.99 plus shipping. These wooden carousels, this one's not in great condition. That's why it's so cheap and it's not branded, but there are certain brands of these that are in your 50 to $100 range. I, I, always, I don't know how to say it, but Druecki, D-R-U-E-K-E, -E, I think is the spelling. They also make chess boards, cribbage boards. If you see that brand on any of those items, usually like branded into the bottom, like wood burnt into, those are worth a lot of money. Look out for those. I have found both a chessboard and a uh, poker carousel from that brand, good money. And then the carousels, you almost always find them with poker chips. I don't sell them with the poker chips. If they're the cheap plastic ones, recycle them, donate them garage sale maybe if they're the what do they call them no noise or silent they're they're basically made of cardboard it's they, they don't make a bunch of noise when you're fiddling through them those you can sell in bulk lots but not for a lot of money i don't mess with that either but if there's clay poker chips pull them out sell them separately do the research some of the individual depending on the design can be worth a ton of money if not just clay poker chips in general worth good money good enough money next thing going out here's the here's a good one big one of the day i think i already said that but i misspoke it is e1 vintage articat snow pants i do need the full skew number it is it does say just e1 so oh that is the number e1 because this bucket is e get the bubble wrap out of my face and I know it's going to be this big one. Here we go. E1 Articat bibs. Those I bought. I got to get the heat turned off in here. We had false winter and now we've come back to false summer. And then now we're into real fall. That's how our season works. It gets unbelievably cold and you go, okay, it's winter time. And then we'll have a week where it's 60, 70, high 70s out of nowhere. But not out of nowhere because it happens every year. And then it will go back to regular fall. So we're in regular fall now, but it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day for trick-or-treating. Last year, rainy and cold. It was, it was awful. But for those $63.99 plus shipping, I got these with the Articat coat I'd sold a couple days ago. No, week ago. And then another Articat coat. But I had the coat and the bibs and the other coats sitting around forever because Jen and I hate listing clothes and they sold quickly. If I we'd list them in the summer, they probably would have sat around till now anyways. But you never know. List the stuff you have. I paid $15, I think, for all three. So I would have paid about five bucks for those, depending on how you want to you want to split it evenly. Sure. So that's a great, great flip. Next thing going out. Uh, it doesn't say where, but I know where. Vintage Mattel Barbie outfit. It almost looks like, oh, I think it's this one right here. Winking Cowgirl. Uh, let's double check if that's the one. Yeah, Winking Cowgirl Western. It says $7.99. So at some point, Jen decided to raise the price on those, or maybe I raised the price. But that's, just, that's it right there. Looks almost like vintage Elvis wear. $10 free shipping. I accepted an offer. And they said, thank you. You're welcome. Next thing going out, A5 is a spirit medical chin strap. A, one, two, three, four, five, right here. And what this is, is for like a CPAP machine. Yeah, it's a chin strap. You can see the picture there. Uh, I was just discussing a CPAP yesterday. How if I, if I ever needed that, I would probably choke myself to death because I gate a roll in, in my sleep. So I would just end up with a hose or a cord 
circling my net. $10.79 free shipping, if I didn't say. I got that in a Mikhail mystery box. Next thing going out, probably... It's on the edge of maybe the oldest item in my store. B2B is a Sony plug of some kind. B2B. Okay, it can't be the oldest because it wouldn't be in one of these, but it's it's up there for sure. And it's this one. And the only reason it took so long to sell is because it's got this piece of Velcro on it. And so if I was somebody buying one, I would be cautious of that. But it was just, it, I couldn't get it off. I tried, I tried a little bit. Also wasn't worth a ton of money, so I wasn't gonna put a huge amount of effort into it. So I just let it go as it was. $17.99 free shipping. So I guess maybe it would have been worth trying, but it was really stuck on there. And then next up, just listed and then sold almost immediately. First one, there's two in the same order. First one is on A2 and it's a Sylvania 500 watt. A2, it's gotta be this one. Sylvania, nope. Not this one. Okay, well then they got mixed up a little bit. Maybe it's this one on B2. That's a thousand watt. All right, well, let me pull the, the second one to start with. It's on C3 and it's a Sylvania 500 watt. C, one, two, three, Sylvania 500 watt, CZA, CZB. Okay, that's the right one there. Okay, let me try to find this one. It's a car 500, car, car 500. It says A2, but this is a car 1500. I mean, 150. So that's looking like it might be a mistake in the listing. Let's find some more of these. Those are not Sylvania. This one is a thousand. All right, I gotta go check with Jen, see if that was a mistake in the listing. Hopefully, hopefully not, it's just hiding somewhere. All right, so unfortunately, it was a mistake in the listing. It's, uh, this says a 150 watt, and in the listing it says it's a 500 watt. I reached out to the buyer to say, hey, do you want me to cancel the whole order? Do you want me to send half it? Is the 150 watt the one you actually wanted? But I'm assuming, because this one says 500 watt, that they wanted a 500 watt uh, for that one as well. So that's unfortunate because it was a sale of $55.98 free shipping and that's with 10% off. So it's going to be, you know, roughly half of that if they want the one and hopefully, hopefully they had looked at the pictures and went, no, I want the 150. They were wrong. That does happen. I'm very doubtful on that one though. So I'll probably have to cancel half that order. Bummer. Next thing going out, C5 is a six piece anti bath bombs and these i sold one almost immediately when i listed these and then i've sold three in the last month so and that's the last of them they're all gone uh, 11 99 free shipping i sent out an offer next thing going out is uh a6 it's a pair of justin cowboy boots all right right here i took a pretty good offer on these because the buyer she said, I'd like to get these, but I could order them. I think she said $100 free ship from the, the Justin Boots website. And I looked, that was somewhat correct, as in, yes, you could order some boots from there for that, but not this pair of boots. I'm not saying she was trying to trick me or anything, just there is a difference. It's, it's not, not every boot is the same but it didn't matter to me either way. I don't use the top shelf for anything except for large items, but the large items, I've said, they cost me more money because they take up more space. I know it's my own garage, but when you treat your business like a business, let me phrase this right, when you treat it like a business, even though it's my garage, I'm still giving up my garage. There's still a opportunity cost. There's still a cost because I could do other things with this garage, I could have a garage. So there is still a cost. Is it equated to a monetary value exactly? No, but it's still a cost. So I gave a pretty good discount. I think I paid 40 for those, maybe 30, but either way, $70 plus shipping. I'm, I'm okay to let them go. I was on the fence when I bought them anyways. It was a slow picking weekend. They can go. I'm okay with it. not huge profits. I did recently at an estate sale pass on four pairs of Justin boots, new in box, just like this. 
But because of that, because when I bought those, I was questioning it. And then for about the same price, I could have got four pairs. I was like, well, these ones are just sitting around. It's, I don't, I don't need to do that. It's not necessary unless it's necessary. If I'm running low on stuff, if I had no uh, back stock or no way to get new inventory and I was at that estate sale, I probably would have bought all four pairs of boots. That's not where my store's at. That's not where I'm at. They can go 70 bucks plus ship. She also was very nice. Sometimes I'm not a sucker, but sometimes, you know, if you're, I mean, if you're having an off day, someone just being nice to you has a value. And the lady that was discussing these boots with me, she was very nice. And I was having an off day. I said, you know what? This lady has given me something. I'm going to give her something. I gave her a better deal. Next thing going out, B3 is Hallmark Walt Disney Ornament. B3, and it is this one. All right, and it's uh, Disney Snow White and the Seven Doors, Dwarves, Christmas time for surprises in all shapes and sizes. 1982 keepsake ornament. For that item, $14.99 free shipping. I think I sent out an offer on that. And speaking of big items, this one, it was uh, featured on What's That Worth? B6. Solomon Instinct 9 Alpine Ski Boots. I can actually reach these ones. And I thought these were very cool, very retro looking. And we ended up listing them um, $54.99 plus ship, I think. And in the video for What's That Worth, I, I said then that they were worth $40 plus ship. And I accepted an offer, $40 plus ship. Sounds good to me. And then these were in a Mikhail mystery box that cost me about $40. And therefore the rest of that box is profits. All right, next thing going out, B3D12, which is this container here. And what is it? It's a vintage ladybug uh, tie tag. B3D12, B3 is the container. Actually B3 is a shelf. D is a container, 12 is the location. And I reach in, and what do I find? A ladybug tie tack. This system is awesome. Of course, I'm not the first person to do it. One of those latches does not want to latch. So of course, I'm not the first person to do it, but I can still enjoy the fact that it's working out for me. I might, because I had said, I was going to try to focus all of B3 with those smaller containers. With those ones specifically, those tackle box types, I might give up an area over here because I could stack a ton of them. I could give up this one real easily or one of the others or like this one over here that I just keep junk in. I could give that up pretty easily and and not have to walk back and forth. I could just pull it out, open it. Before the Ladybug tie tack, 22 free shipping. Next thing going out on C4 is a black cast iron uh, miniature stove. It's plastic, but it's for like a dollhouse type of thing. When I did the, this came in a uh, Mikhail mystery box. When I did the Mikhail mystery box opening, he had messaged me and said, hey, make sure you look everything up. There's a couple things in there that you would be surprised actually were something. And that was part of it, the miniatures. Because even this grandfather clock that's crooked just kind of looks a little shabby. And then there was also a, yeah, right here. There's a dresser and it's missing the mirror. And it just, they don't look amazing, but apparently desirable of some kind because for that cat plastic cast iron stove 19.99 free shipping i sent out an offer but i think the desk we have listed for like 24.99 free shipping whew, did not expect that i know the the cast dollhouse furniture and all that kind of stuff is actually worth really good money i sold just a little uh footstool one time for 20 something bucks so look out for that vintage dollhouse furniture and it's easy to tell if it's quality you pick it up and if it's heavier than you know a piece of plastic then yeah get it apparently even stuff that's that's plastic i i don't know maybe maybe it's difficult to find it not a lot of stores carry it i have no idea but that's something i'm putting on the radar for sure because i would have passed on that clock a thousand times because it looks like trash but Jen was like, no, I looked at all the other ones. They look all the same. People buy them. 
Okay, let's go. Uh, next thing going out, A3 is a cockatoo credit card holder wallet, all the above. And I think it's in a box. Yes, right here. This also came in a Mikhail mystery box, and it looks like it might have been an Amazon return type of situation. But for that cockatoo credit card holder leather wallet bifold, $15.99 free shipping. Next thing going out, D2 is some Brother Ink. D12. That's not D. <laughs> D2 Brother Ink for an LC61CL. Took an offer, $25 free shipping. Expired in 2019. Put it right in the title. Said it's expired. People still buy expired ink. How do I know that? Because my dad has been buying expired ink for 15 years. He'll buy it in bulk off of... He, every once in a while, he'll get one that's, that's dead, but it's still way cheaper. You could throw one of them away way cheaper than buying new ink at Walmart or wherever, whenever you need it. Also, that is a great reason, and I've said this before, but I'm going to throw it out there. Tip of the day. And the tip of the day today is is if you take your reselling serious, as in it's something you do regularly, do not have to be full time. A thermal printer is a must have. And it's a must have because you don't have to pay for ink. Ink gets very expensive. You don't have to pay, say you just print your labels on your regular printer. You don't have to pay for paper. Your printer could break. Of course, also so could this one, but these are much more durable than like a paper and ink printer, especially a cheap one. Like, you know, you can get a printer at Walmart brand new for 40 bucks. Those do not last very long. I've ran through many of them. The main reason why these are a must have is because the resale value is almost a one to one. I bought this used for $180 and mine came with labels and with this carry tray, which is useless. I use it because I have it. You don't need one of those. Very useless. The resale value is almost a one-to-one. -one. I paid, a, I, I wanna say it was 180 bucks. I can actually double check real quick. Okay, I had paid 177 plus $14 shipping, 13.95. All right, so right now, what would I get if I sold my Rolo X1038? I would get minimum 150 plus ship. So even if you're a part-timer, even if, you know, you, you're like, okay, I think I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm feeling it out. You can buy one of these, use it. And then if you change your mind, the resale value is still so high. It holds on to its resale value that you can flip it and get your money back. It's, that's a no brainer as far as I'm concerned. Just it's, as they say, a game changer. If you happen to want to purchase one of those, and you click on one of my links, I will make a small amount of money off of that. And I do, um, I do appreciate amounts of money, even when they're small. All right, next thing going out. B4 is a vintage standard John E... something. B1234. Uh, it's like a hand warmer. Uh, I think it's actually on B3. I think it's this one right here. Let me double check. It does appear like it. This is it. It's a Johnny hand warmer from Aladdin. And I'll double check to make sure I, we didn't have two of them because I think we did, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. It'll be easy to identify because it has a hole in the cover. What this is, is it's kind of like a Zippo lighter-ish type of thing uh, with a self-contained flame and it's a hand warmer. Would I warm my hands with that? Probably not. $11.99 free shipping. I think I got that from my dad, so cost of basically zero. I think that was one of those items where he said, I'm going to throw it away. Do you want it? Next up, C4 is the original IQ tester. C1234. And it's a, uh, like a wooden bar top game type of thing. Ah, here we go. I don't think it was the golf one though, but was it the golf one? Hole in one <clears throat> IQ tester? Nope. It was the one with the triangle. I was starting to get the shelves a little clogged up again. I'll probably just come out here and do some sorting one day soon. It was very buried, but very buried, but I put the stuff on top of it. So that one's on me. The original IQ tester. I, when I was a child, I took piano lessons. 
my sister and I both. And so that it was one drop off, you know, one of us would, would get a half hour and then the other one would get a half hour. And when I had to wait around, I played this game continuously because after about the first two lessons while I was there, I, uh, I read through all the comic books she had from 1940 or whatever it was. And so that was the only thing left for me to do because the other option was I would actually go hide in the woods till my mom got there so I didn't have to do my piano lesson. Thinking back, I really wish I would have stuck with it. I would be great at piano by now. 1690 free shipping, but that is going international and they paid eBay 1494 to get it. Wow. And it's going to Canada and it's a first class item. So that's one of those items where if I had first class shipping set up for Canada, where I dealt with it myself through pirate ship or whatever means I did, that item would have sold faster. Well, maybe not faster, but it just would have been, definitely would have been better for the buyer because they wouldn't have had to pay $15 or whatever I had just said in shipping to eBay. It's something that I would say almost everyone should do if you want to offer international shipping is that for some locations you use pirate ship or some other service and figure that out. And there are many videos to show you how to do it. Many YouTubers that'll that'll walk you through the process. Many YouTube, many YouTube resellers that do it. I'm not one of them. I've said many times I need to get around to doing it. That's not gonna happen. And it's only because of time. I have, I mean, everyone's busy, but I, I have so many things on, on the back burner that I have to put time into to generate more money because uh, like eBay, there are certain things that make you money that as long as you keep doing the same steps over and over and over again, that amount of money you make will grow and grow and grow and grow. eBay is one of those. But with things like eBay, that how that looks, say on a, on a chart or a graph, will be uh, like this. And then that line will over time start to taper off and the amount you can increase it lowers. That's one of those uh, fallacies about people that think they're going to go full time with reselling, myself included in that. I kind of, I dove in way too early to full time. Is that you think that those gains are going to continue on that trajectory and that's an impossibility. You can't just keep doubling and doubling and doubling unless you are one of those people that's a grinder, somebody that's going to make the plan, stick to the plan, get employees, get a, a full going, blown business, probably somebody who's already ran a business before. Then you can kind of, but still that curve will flatten over time. So I have other things on the back burner like YouTube. YouTube is one of those things where you're going to make no money, no money. 90% of the people are going to make no money ever. And that's, that's a, I don't know the actual number, but that other say 10%, 25%, whatever it is, will make money, but it is a slow, arduous climb over time that you have to put time and effort into. I have a couple other avenues where it's the same thing. I know if I put in the time and effort that over time I will make more and more and more money, but I have to be able to put that time and effort into those things. Even if right now it's resulting in $0, there will be a point where it hits that curve and starts going up and then eventually will taper off. But if you have all of these things going at the same time and they all hit that taper point, it doesn't matter because they're all still bringing in money. So when I say I don't have time to do things, that's what it is. I have other things I'm working on besides eBay and YouTube that I have to put time and effort into. Just like say I was taking night classes or something. You, you have to put in that time. It doesn't just happen. You have to put in the work. But to circle back to my point, if you are something who puts all your time and effort into eBay, you need to explore your other international shipping options. You will make more sales. You will make more money. Next thing going out, B5 is a Rush Russ troll doll. And it's one of the big ones. And I bought this with a bunch of other small troll dolls. I, I bought, I don't know, cause I keep thinking I ran out of them and then I'll sell another one. But I bought a bunch from my local Salvation Army. It wasn't a great buy, but I would probably do it again. It was now that I have rush troll down knowledge that I never knew I would have, it would be a lot easier because I ran into a issue where I had half of them listed 
and then realized that the costumes had been flipped on a bunch of them. And some of the pieces, like the shoes on one, or one had a necklace and it was on the wrong one, and we had to go back and do, redo a bunch. I would have done all that research ahead of time if I even thought that was a possibility, which of course I should have. It's a toy. Of course somebody might sw swap the clothes in and out. But for that one specifically, I paid $4.99. I remember, because I somebody, somebody was like, oh, I found this... Somebody I know was like, hey, I saw you were buying those troll dolls. I found this one over here and like threw it in my cart. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And I went and bought it and I got $17.79 free shipping. So in the long run, it's profits. I'm okay with it. I would have passed. That, that's the only reason that one got purchased. I was tricked into it, I guess. Uh, next thing going out. I am losing my voice. B3B is a vintage du jour light meter. B3B light meter and i sold one of these uh, a month ago or so and i ended up having to refund the buyer because they said it didn't work i don't i don't know it's they're pretty easy to test like clearly the the needle's moving here that was one of those cost of doing business returns or refunds because this one i got 1334 free shipping i'm assuming it was somewhere in that range it wasn't worth the even slim chance that it actually didn't work because then if they return it then i would have had to pay the return actually it's a free shipper so no matter what i gotta pay the return shipping on that so that was just a cost of doing business i said sorry to hear that if you'd if you want to buy anything else in my store i'd gladly give you another 10 percent off i'll go ahead and refund you for it just to keep a good standing with them if if that's what happened i think they just it was user error i i that's all i think it was because they were kind of asking me, like, how do I get this to start working? I'm like, well, you just you just use it. It just works. Like, what are you talking about? They just they either work or they don't. And it, it worked. So, well, yeah, you know. And it is the second time that's happened. So, in a three-plus year span. So, maybe maybe I'll just stop, stop buying them. I didn't buy that one, though. It came to Mikhail Mystery Box. So, I think I did stop buying them. I think I just got... I've gotten a couple lately through other means besides me searching them out and next thing going out and i gotta hurry up because my voice is honestly leaving me uh dracula 1999 on dvd right here and it's new in package that's cool original price 5.99 and i got 1067 free shipping so that will go media mail next thing going out it's the last one it is a buckskin so I actually get to eliminate this box that's over here. That is also very cool. And this was folded nicely at one point, but we did have to open them up to identify because we put a labeling system on them and then forgot to put that in the listings. So that was a bit of a hassle, but either way, 22, 24 free shipping. Glad to be done with the buck skins, the deer skins, the doe skins, whatever they are. But I would never do that again. Never would I do that again. Next thing going out, it's a book. It's a vintage Rand McNally, Aesop's Fables. I'm guessing over here because it's a bigger book. Yep, right here. And I had somebody message me, a buyer, and a potential buyer, and say, how big is the book? It was a weekend. So when it's, out, when it's a weekend, if it's a $150 item and they got a question that I could get them the answer, of course, I'm walking the garage, I'm going to do it. But for an $11.99 free shipping book, it's the weekend. I'm I'm out of the office. So usually how I'll respond to that is, well, how I respond to this one is I said, it's a larger book. I don't know the exact measurements, but I'm out of the office. I could get you an answer on Monday because it's, it's the weekend. You have to take a break. You got to know when to draw a line sometimes. They said, oh, okay, well, I'll try Googling it. Maybe try Googling it first. I, I don't know, but... Whether or not it was the same person that bought it, I have no clue. But sometimes questions, I go, no, if if I feel like answering that on Monday, I'll do it. But I sent out an offer and somebody purchased it. I'm thinking maybe the offer enticed them anyways. $11.99 free shipping. And then last thing going out, it's a DVD set. Prison Break Seasons 1 through 3. And I said when I got these out of a Mikhail mystery box that if you're selling DVD lots, it's best if you have all of them. It's hard to sell them if you have 2, 4, and 5. 1 through 3, not so bad. But either way, if you have the whole set, 
It wasn't the whole set. I think it went seven seasons. I found that out later on. 22, 24 free shipping for those. They would be 11% off because Sunday, yesterday, um, sales really turned to nothing. And it was time for me to start my new sale up. So I said, you know what? Let me give it a bump. Let me try 11%. Did that help? Probably not, but, but maybe. Sometimes that 1% can be the difference between a newly listed item and your item that you've had listed for a year and a half. Because it's hard to go back through your entire inventory, price check everything constantly. That's When you have 10 items, sure, do it as often as you want. When you have, uh, let's see what we got right now, 1,300 items, not so easy. So I know it's very late, but I hope everyone had a happy Halloween. Everyone got all the candy they could handle. Jen, of course, bought the candy for us to hand out three days ago, and now it's half gone, and we all feel disgusting. So hopefully it all disappears today, and we don't have to worry about that. Of course, the kids are trick-or-treating, so they're going to bring some in. But it's easier to not eat the candy when it's not yours, even though, you know, I'm eating all them almond joys. Those are mine. Three Musketeers, I got to check them for needles or so, whatever excuse I'm going to give the kids. Got to make sure they're not poisonous. Pop them three Musketeers in my mouth. Candy, it's got to go. It's got to go. Because if not, what's around the corner? Thanksgiving, Christmas, cookies, pie. I mean, it's there's always a reason to, to, to get off the diet. Always a reason to eat more sugar. You got to stick with it. At least I'm talking to me. I'm not talking to you. You do whatever you want. But I feel like garbage because for the last two days I've been binging on candy and then my sweet older neighbor across the road made us cupcakes. So of course I ate a cupcake and I took Michael to the movies and I ate peanut uh, M&Ms. Like I, said, I feel like garbage. I feel like garbage. It's got to go. Well, that's going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe share and we go to each other. <laughs>